Hey, what's up guys? My name is Joe. Today's video is pretty special because Aaron has given me the opportunity to share this video on his channel. Here's Aaron saying some stuff real quick. Gentlemen, I'm pretty excited about today's video because we have a very special head of hair in the Alpha M house. My boy, hopefully soon to be your boy, Joe from Bluemont. He gave me the opportunity to demonstrate Original by Bluemont on his channel. Uh, which was really, really nice of him. And if you guys haven't checked out his channel, I mean, he's got over a million subscribers, so uh, you are missing out on some stylish content. I'm just saying right now. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys three different ways to style an undercut at my length, which is about four and a half inches on top. Um, some new options that I've never brought to the channel before. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's kick it off with hairstyle number one. All right, so for this first hairstyle, I'm gonna be showing you guys how the undercut is most often styled. This usually includes a bit of a side swept look, um, a little bit pushed back with some volume on top. Let's get into it. My favorite way to start any hairstyle is with damp hair. It's like a fresh canvas, then you can do whatever you want to it. We're gonna take just a small amount of original, rub it all around, and apply it evenly to your damp hair. You'll notice during the drying process that this helps to add a control and a little bit of hold um, and really set your foundation in place. Next, I'm taking a paddle brush and combing my hair from the right to the left. What you need to do is decide which way your hair prefers to go and comb it into that direction. Don't worry about it being completely neat. Basically, the paddle brush just helps to get all of the hair going in the correct direction. Now, onto the blow dryer. Pretty simple, blow dry in the same direction that you just combed in. Notice how even though the blow dryer is going all around, I am focusing on pushing my hair from the right to my left in order to freeze my hair into that position. Once you're done with that, your foundation is finished and we're just gonna go back through with one more round of product. This final application is gonna ensure that your hair stays in place all day and helps to add a little bit more texture and oomph to the finished look. There we go, we're done with that. We're moving on to hairstyle number two, which is this right here, it's what I've got Right now, it's my personal favorite way of styling an undercut at this length. <coughs> boop, boop. We interrupt this video to bring you a special message from the Queen of England. <coughs> uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to Joe's channel. His channel is really great. He's got a lot of cool, a lot of cool content. Sorry, handwriting. Um, and if you haven't yet, like I just said in my previous sentence, please subscribe because. Uh, his content is cool. She kind of reiterated herself a few times, but thanks, Queen of England. Um, back to the video. <laughs> Once again, starting out with damp hair and using original as a pre-styler, again, just uh, evenly distributing that, spreading it all around. This time, we don't have to worry about putting your hair in place. We're going for a more messy look, and the point here is to use your blow dryer and kind of blow dry your hair forward from both sides and then up at the fringe area. So as you can see, I'm putting emphasis on both sides of my head this time, not just once. Blow drying from my right to my left, blow drying from my left to my right, and making sure that there's just an overall messiness because I don't want it looking too neat. I'm focusing on and drying the back of my head before moving on to the fringe. Now for the fringe area, I'm taking a vented brush. One of my personal favorite types of brush that exists is the vented brush. And as you can see, I'm using the vented brush mixed with the blow dryer to provide a nice curve in the fringe area and really boost that volume. The vented brush helps to control your hair and also really build in that curve. And boom, there you go. Done with the blow drying. And once again, going back through with one more round of product. What I wanna do with this application is pretty much just mess up my hair. And then I can kind of put it back together as much as I feel is necessary. The point here is to go for that kind of effortless look. Um, it's a little bit messy, but it's still together. It looks overall really nice.
All right, so for the final look, we're going for the least dramatic look out of the three. These are for you guys who um, don't like crazy volume. You like things to be a little bit more subtle. This is like a textured yet natural looking fringe hairstyle. This time, we're not gonna apply a pre-styler because as I said, this is for more of a natural look. We're gonna go straight in with the blow drying. With the blow dryer, you wanna put emphasis on blow drying your hair down, not up, just down. I've chosen to blow dry my hair at a diagonal angle, going from my right to my left, um, because as I said earlier, that's the way that my hair most naturally goes. Keeping it at a downward angle, I'm gonna blow dry until my hair is completely dry. And there we go, my hair is completely dry, but it looks fairly lifeless and a little bit dull at the moment. And that's where adding some product is really gonna help. We're gonna take a small scoop, not too much, because again, going for the more natural look, rub it in your hands and apply in your hair. At this point, it's up to you. You can make it look a little bit more messy if you want. You can make it look more clean. It's really up to you. And I've chosen kind of something in the middle. I want there to be a bit of texture present, but I don't want it to be super out there. And with that being said, the final hairstyle is done. Alrighty guys, well that's a wrap. That is the end of today's video. Remember, you can find links to everything, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, and Snapchat, along with where you can buy Original by Bloomon if you like, in the description down below. Don't forget to go say hi to Mr. Aaron Marino over at Alpha M. Um, really nice of him to let me on his channel, so. Yes! Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you have a good one, and I'll see everyone next time. Boom. <laughs>